Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I'm just going to do a really super quick uh, demo of the very early stages of a um, turn-based or, or yeah, turn turn-based or turn order, I should say, turn order display. Uh, so displaying on the map the turn order of your combat is really super simple, really super super basic. There's a whole bunch of more stuff I need to play around and experiment with, uh, but I just want to show uh, what, I, what I had done up to this point. So it is really, really super simple. Um, in fact, I was surprised at how simple this is, but it, it's going to be, uh, there's a lot more I want to add to it. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and what's going to happen is um, my six or eight, what is it, eight, eight combatants are going to show up in little pictures at the top of the screen. Um, again, there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do with this, but I was just messing around with, can I show the order that they're going to act in and nothing more than that. So it's Reed's turn to attack. And so what I did was I added this little 20 sided dice to indicate who's attacking. And, um, again, just testing this, this, this is from, uh, Avery's icons, uh, which, which is awesome. I just barely, uh, added them and I've been messing around. They're really cool. So every time that I advance this, it's going to change, it's going to move that indicator of whose turn, right? It's, it's not lined up now because it says zombie's turn, and it's going to just keep moving because all I was testing was moving that indicator of whose attack it is. And that's pretty much all it is right now, showing the pictures in the order they're going to be, showing a, like a, an indicator of whose attack it is, and then still going to mess around with stuff like... Um, you know, uh, people getting statuses based on things that happen, you know, people getting knocked out or killed, so they're not going to be there anymore. Uh, the turn order being um, re, uh, redone because of, uh, you know, speed changes and stuff like that. Um, and I have, I have another part where I was doing the actual uh, determination of the turn order using an array, but this was just the visual. How do, how do, how could I start learning to show uh, a visual turn order uh, on the map. So it's very su super simple, nothing fancy. I'm sure there's lots of better things out there. Uh, but again, this is just learning to experiment. So uh, anyway, that's that's it. That's all I wanted to show here. Um, I'm going to keep adding to that. And uh, again, you know, if, if something simple like that will help somebody, uh, let me know. I'm happy to throw up a really quick tutorial. It is really simple uh, for at least that part of it. And again, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, you know, happy gaming, happy game developing, and I will talk to everybody later. Bye.